Most of the pergola designs we offer use some form of a tenon at the tops of the posts, which provides a seat for the beams. This helps strengthen the pergola assembly and has the added bonus of making installation a bit easier. Start by laying out the tenon cuts at the top of the post. This pergola design specifies the removal of seven and a quarter inches by one and a half inch of waste on each side of this tenon, but check your plans for appropriate dimensions for your specific pergola. Since a lot of these marks are repeated, having a combination square set to the appropriate marks will speed things up. Mark the tenon on both sides of the post. Then, rotate the post 90 degrees and mark the cheek cut. Set your circular saw blade to the appropriate depth of cut, one and a half inches in this case. Cut across the cheek on one face of the post, then rotate the post 180 degrees and do the opposite face. Reset your saw's depth of cut to its maximum and rotate your post 90 degrees again. Saw down the face of the tendon on each side of it, then rotate 180 degrees and take care of the opposite face. You will then need to complete the cut with a reciprocating saw or a handsaw. This next step is optional, but highly recommended. Since wood timbers are usually provided with square cut corners, our preference is to ease them with a the chamfer. This serves two purposes. One, it is nicer to touch than a square corner, and two, it helps prevent the corners from splintering off should something bump into them. At any rate, chamfer, or round over if you choose, the post corners with the router and router bit. You'll want to stop the bit at some distance from the top and bottom of the post, otherwise it may look odd where the other parts tie in. complete, all that's left to do is install them, which will be the subject of the next video.